Captain Stephen McManus dropped out for Celtic. Gary Caldwell returned to central defence. Georgia Samaras also missed out. A new front pairing then of Scott McDonald and Chris Killen. Hearts had Janis Baloch in goal in place of Marian Kello and welcome back Marius Zaliukas from suspension. In a major surprise, Gaddy Glenn's place up front was taken by centre-half Ishmael Bouzid, at least for a while. Commentary from Paul Mitchell. Michael Stewart for Hearts. On to Suso. Suso trying to get away from Brown. Nice turn from the Spaniard. Goes for goal and beats off for Bolic. Hearts have the lead inside five minutes at Celtic Park. Suso came across, hit the shot. After Boric gets two hands to it, some shots are unstoppable. That didn't look like one of them. Fox with a corner, Ballock under pressure, Caldwell killing, trying to get in there. Hart shook it clear, on to Aidan McGinney. Close to the equaliser, Aidan McGinney. A real mess for Hearts in the middle, Caldwell trying to push the ball over. And eventually, hack clear, and McGinney not a million miles away. And Guillermo on to Maloney, careless from Craig Thompson, free kick. Referee Dougie McDonald. Shot Maloney, goes for goal, up and down, just rattles the bar. Celtic continue, hooked wide, but thumped clear by Hearts. Well, Sean Maloney scored against Hearts at Tidecastle last season, nearly the equaliser here. Thompson plays it in, can Calvez. Better goalkeeping from Arthur Boric. Got across well, ball seemed to be moving away from him. Reached out the hand. Ballo clear. And Andy Driver's in space. Andy Driver for Hearts. Boric starts. Comes for him. The ball's pushed past him. Gary Cornwell just clears off the line. Hearts continuing to press. Celtic fans very unhappy. Simple ball over the top from the goalkeeper. Andy Driver drove in, Boric got the touch and Caldwell made the clearance. Maloney has Killen, Killen with a good hit, Ballock turns the ball away, Maloney and Suso go after it, Suso goes over, referee says play on Killen at the back post, that's where it goes! And Celtic have the equaliser 11 minutes into the second half, it's a first goal at Celtic Park, it's Celtic Colours for Chris Killen. Hearts wanted a free kick for Sousa going down. Maloney continued to turn the cross magnificent. They hit a top corner. And 23 months since he last scored for Celtic, Chris Killen makes it 1 1. Gideon Maloney looking lively. Inside by Aidan McGeady. Goes for goal. Ballock was stranded. Well, five minutes after he said equalised, Ida McGiddy almost handed them the lead. Last three matches have been drawn between these two sides. The last two, one apiece as McDonald goes in. Back off the cross. Chris Killen should be, it's not. McDonald goes in, robs the goalkeeper, Thompson away. Sloppy from Hart, horrific in the end from Celtic. Good shot, back off the post. Killen simply should have buried it. It bobbled up, McDonald followed through, and Thompson off the line. Wallace for Hearts. On to Michael Stewart, it's the return ball. Can be played back to him, and as Wallace takes the touch, Hinkle and Bynum, referee at a good angle, Wallace went down. Hearts wanted a penalty. Novakova sent it on, there was a touch from Hinkle. Not enough, said Dougie McDonald. The referee in good position said that wasn't a spot kick. Slip from Nguemo. Rakovas on to Bui, likes to shoot from distance. Got a pretty decent shot and I'm not a great goal scoring record for Hearts, but came close there, flashing across. Celtic pushing again for a winner. Arm again, up against Wallace, Wallace sliding in, McGinn goes down. Corner, referee again, right up with play. Reckon there was nothing in that. Again, up against Wallace, the two collide. That might have come off Lee Wallace. And the assistant said it has. Well, Lee Wallace thought that was a goal kick. Well, if in doubt, you just thump it clear. And Wallace decided to leave it. 
Fox wins it, and Ballot comes for it, hearts the goal, it's unguarded, Lewins! Back across from McGinney and Glenn Lewins scores his first goal of the season and almost certainly brings three points to Celtic. Ballot came, hit it back across by McGinney and the Dutchman was up to finish. Hearts have taken it to the wire, but it's Celtic who win it.